Not to be outdone, our own Victoria Woodall went to Temple University's Ambler's campus to check out their Dr. Seuss celebration. She found children in a place so whimsical it could have been from the pages of his book. Under a sunny sky and a canopy of green leafy trees. We have papaya, we have dragon fruit. This tree here, has anybody ever eat mango? For the students from the Rainbow Academy in Bucks County, it was time to read. Where the Lorax once stood, just as long as it could. Thanks to Temple University Ambler, their greenhouse was the perfect place to root in their seats for Read Across America Day. And boy, did they think it was neat. Does the greenhouse feel just as magical as the pages of the book? Yes. 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 What? I didn't hear you. What did you guys say? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. The plants that Ben, our greenhouse manager, is growing here, they're called corpse flowers, and it, they just look like Dr. Seuss plants. The Lorax was just natural. The Lorax is, is giving the same message that we are, only they're rhyming when, we do, when they do it. <laughs> I like it because it silly and it, it rhymes and because of all the silly rhymes it helps you learn more. But these kiddos weren't the only ones who were lending their ear. For the secrets I tell you are for your ears alone. Through this itty bitty camera other classrooms near and far got to hear because today is a day for all to read. And what do you do with this leftover goo? To learn, to dream, to plant a seed. It reminded me how much we need to care about plants and nature. Why do you say that? Because they help us, and if we didn't have plants, we wouldn't have food, and things wouldn't look that pretty without plants. Did you learn all of that from a book, or was that just from your brain? <laughs> wow, that's insane. <laughs> Victoria Woodle, CBS3 Eyewitness News. You are a rock star. Very <laughs> nice. I like that. That's great. Very That's cool. Great.